Hi there, and welcome to another QImage Ultimate instructional video. This video will cover the new Driver AI system. In the prior two versions, we had the beginnings of this system, and it was called Smart Driver Settings at that point. But the settings and the whole system has gotten so intelligent that we can now legitimately call it AI because it really is taking in information from the environment and making the decisions that a human would typically make with regard to the driver settings. So let's take a look at how the system works. I'm in QImage version 2022.127, which is the first version with the new driver AI system. And the controls for the system can be found under Edit, Preferences, Printing Options. You may be used to going through the menu to get to these printing options. And these options are interpolation type and a whole bunch of options here that relate to QImages settings for printing rather than a driver. We see we have a new panel here called Driver AI. And we have three options. Um, we can have automatic color management. We can prevent sizing conflicts and we can manage other extended settings. So let me also point out that you can get to this menu quicker now with a simple button here. This gear icon takes you straight to the QImage printing option. So now we have the two buttons side by side. We have a button here, Properties, which opens the driver properties. And we have a button here that opens the QImage printing options. So we can click this button and get the same options here, which includes the new driver AI features. So let me just cancel that because we have them all enabled. So I'm going to show you now what those options give us. The primary and probably the most important option that it gives you is automatic color management. And I should mention uh, before I get started with this that QImage is the only software application that can do this. Um, yeah, I'm not aware of any other applications that will have this level of integration with the driver to basically keep you out of trouble by making sure your driver settings are valid before you start printing. Um, but if we click on the properties button here, we can open the driver and we can see I'm on the Canon G600 series here. It's a small, nice printer for uh, printing photos. And you can see that we have uh, various options in here. But the whole goal of this system is to rarely have to open the driver to do anything other than maybe check quality settings to make sure that you're at the quality that's appropriate for the type of photos you're printing. This check mark uh, will be gray if there's some type of an issue that you might need to look into, or it's blue, meaning that you've already validated the um, settings and the AI system has also validated them. So what we want to see here, basically, we want to see a blue check mark. And we already have that in this case because I've been in here and I've done what I needed to do. But let's say that this is the first time I've used this Canon printer and the first time I brought it up. Let me hold the shift key. And by doing that, when I click properties, it'll open the driver with default settings. So let me do that. So this is the system default for the driver. And if I just accept that, this will give me the default preferences from Windows. You'll notice it says in this little banner here, and if you hold your mouse over this, it won't fade out and you can read it. Driver AI has fixed some settings and it tells you that you can click for more info. So if I click on this little banner, it'll tell you that it made some changes and it has some hints for us. Um, the changes that it made is it fixed the color management mode, which means it knows that I don't have a printer profile. So it set the proper mode in the driver. And it has a hint, and the hint, it says, increase quality in the driver to high or above for best output. Well, I can click OK on that. If you ever want to see this again, you just hover over the Printer Properties button. And this is a lot to read at first because it's telling you what the button does above the dash line. But below the dash line is you get your driver AI status below that dash line. So it'll show you the changes that have already been made and the hints that you might want to make a change. So it's telling me to increase quality. So let me go in and do that. I'll click here 
and it's on standard quality and I probably do want high. So I'll just make that one change and click OK. And now I get a blue check mark, which means it'll tell you driver properties have been AI and user verified. And the bottom line here, you're often with this pop up here, you're often looking at the bottom line. It says confirm driver settings are valid. So we're good to go here. But just to show you how this works, um, I could come here and activate a profile. I could browse and find one, but I already have one here that was used before. So let me check that one. And as soon as I select the profile, you notice right here it says driver AI has fixed some driver settings. Well, what did it fix? Well, we can click here or we can just hover over this. Let's do that. Look at the bottom line, that bullet there changes. It says it fixed the color management mode. Well, what does that mean? Let's open the driver and I'll show you what it means. Under the main tab here, under color intensity, if you click this set button, you'll see that it's set matching to none. And that's what we want when we're using a profile. So it automatically did that. We don't have to worry about double profiling or any problems with color. QImage Driver AI already set this to the appropriate mode. So this is set to none now. Everything is good. But what if we went back to let the printer manage color? Well, again, we get a banner saying Driver AI just fixed something. What did it fix? Again, that bottom bullet there, fixed color management mode. Well, it had already done that before and it set it to none. Let's see what it's set to now. Click on this set, click on matching. It set it to ICM, which is what it should be set to for let printer driver manage color. So we didn't have to do anything. And even if we go back now, see now it's set to ICM, we confirm that. If we go back to the profile, we don't have to worry about it. As soon as we see this banner, we know that QImage automatically set the color mode in the driver. We don't even need to open the driver again. So why is it called driver AI? Well, it really is far more intelligent than it ever was in the past. And let me show you what I mean by that. I can open this up and let's, uh, let's really screw up something here. Um, Let's go to the page setup and let's click on this, fit to page. Um, some people, they don't know really what this option is and it seems logical, Well, I want to fit stuff to page. So I'll click on that. Nope, driver AI just stepped in and it fixed a problem. What did it fix? Well, I'll click here this time. Same thing as hovering over there. Um, Disabled driver scaling to prevent sizing issues, this line right here. And again, you can just, if you ever want to know, just hover over here. The bottom line there, that little bullet, disabled driver scaling. Well, we can open up the driver and see what it did. If we go back to page setup, we see that it unchecked fit to page and we went back to normal size. We never want any of these scaling options checked because if we do that, the prints that we set up on our live view here, we spent the time setting this up the way we want it to look, it's not going to look like that. The driver is going to take over and scale them and we're going to get the wrong size prints. And it knows that. So it fixed it. Um, <clears throat> and this is really handy. Let me go to an Epson printer and I'll show you something that Epson is famous for. Um, I'll just use the P600 here. Um, so already when I select that, it's already done something. What did it do? Um, it fixed the color management mode and it disabled optimize enlargement. Um, it disabled optimize enlargement because that's a tweak in the driver that tries to apply interpolation. Well, we don't want that. QImage does a better job than the driver does. So that should never be turned on. Um, so if you go in the driver and you click on optimize enlargement or one of these other options, uh, there's another option in here called edge smoothing. Edge smoothing and optimize enlargement, they try to do stuff with Epson's interpolation. Well, again, we don't need that. QImage will do a far better job. But let's turn them on here. Let's make a mistake and turn those both on here and see what happens. Nope. Driver AI stepped in again, fixed the problem. And you know we can see what the problem is, but I'll just click this and open the driver and I'll show you. Under the quality options, it has unchecked edge smoothing. We had that checked and it unchecked optimized enlargement. 
So it's taking care of things here for you. But one thing I want to show you about Epson printers is that Epson leads you into this pothole. And if you're new to Epson drivers, you can easily fall prey to this. You're looking at the page layout here, and maybe you fooled with this setting, and you're thinking, I don't know what this is. Maybe I should set output paper to the same size as the paper that I'm using. Makes sense to me, right? Well, you might not notice that that automatically checked reduce and large. And what it's trying to do is ignore the non-printable borders and shove an 8.5 by 11 inch print into the printable area, which is 8.266 by 10.766. So that requires reduce and large, and it's going to scale your prints. If you do that, you will get the wrong size prints, period. So let me click OK, and it says driver AI fixed the problem. Well, you can hover here and see what it fixed. Uh, under changes there, that uh, top bullet under changes said disabled driver scaling. If we go back in here and look, we see that it fixed it and it set it back to same as paper size, which it should be. And we don't have reduce and large anymore. So it's fixed that problem and you won't get the wrong size prints. This happens to a lot of people when they set this. This should never be set to anything but same as paper size. If you set it to anything else, you'll get the wrong size prints. And this should really be under reduce and large here so that you have to click reduce and large to get to this. So that's my complaint about the Epson drivers. They walk you right into that pothole. Um, so it's taking care of a whole lot of things here. I'll show you one last thing here uh, that's really nice for Canon printers. And let me uh, turn off the driver AI settings here. So now we're not under the AI umbrella. AI is not going to help us now. Um, and if we go to the Canon Pro 2000, let's say, and we go into, first of all, let me hold the shift key and reset the driver. Now this is the default. If when you hold the shift key and click the properties, this, these are the default settings. So I might go in here and I might know to change this standard quality to high. And I'm going to the page here and um, I got a custom paper size. Let's say I'm on a 24 inch roll. So I'm going to do 24 by 48 inches. Um, and the, the paper type doesn't really matter because I'll just show you this. Um, okay, that, that looks good. We're all good here. Um, 24 by 48 minus some non printable margins, so slightly smaller. But everything looks good. Notice that the driver here says we're operating at 600 PPI resolution. Well, that's good. That's what we would expect for a Canon. But now, without the driver AI, remember we came from default settings here. If I go to page setup and I just change the size, now I want a slightly longer. I still want a 24 inch roll, but now it's, let's say I want 60 inches in length instead of 48. Now watch this 600 PPI right here. All I did was change the paper length. And now all of a sudden the driver has dumbed this down to 300 PPI. And if you go over, I think, 100 inches, it'll dumb it down to 200 PPI. But right here, you're kind of scratching your head thinking, what's going on? Why am I set at lower resolution? If you even notice it, you might not even notice it and just print this and you won't get the optimal quality. But let's say you do notice it. Now you don't know what to do. You have no idea what caused that. Um, well, let's just go in here and turn these driver AI features back on. So if I check all of these and click OK, watch the 300 here. I click OK. Driver AI has stepped in and fixed something. Well, what did it fix? I'll click on this this time. It says it fixed the color management mode. Well, that's no big deal. We had a, I left my, old uh, profile in here, so that's fine. It, but it says it's set fine zoom to no to ensure full resolution regardless of page size. Well, it knows that there's an obscure setting in here that dumbs down your resolution if you go too long on the paper length, and it knows that it's under layout and you would never find this on your own. And then special settings, this setting right here called fine zoom, if that's on auto or yes, that's what the Canon drivers do. They dumb down your resolution, 300 all the way down to 200. 
and you'll really start getting blocky looking prints. Well, we don't want that because we have QImage, and QImage knows how to send big prints piece by piece so that you don't overwhelm the driver. We don't need to dumb down the resolution. So these are all the types of things that driver AI is doing for you. And really, from a user's perspective, you really only have to look for this blue checkbox. If the blue check mark here is uh, there and it's not white, you know everything's good to go. Now, if you if you turn off these uh, driver AI options here, then you know all bets are off. And let me show you: if you turn these off, then the gray gear shows up. And when this gear turns gray, it means that your your uh, driver AI features are turned off. Turn them back on, and the gear goes blue, meaning, okay, I'm driver AI, and I've got your back. So you would normally not turn these off. I'm just showing you. You might turn them off if you have some kind of specialized need or uh, something's not working on your particular model printer, but this has been tested on dozens and dozens of printers. So uh, there should really be no need to uncheck these. They should be on. That way you'll know everything's good. And let's say you, you start out with a, a new printer. Um, and again, I'm going to hold the shift key just to get the driver defaults because QImage remembered the last thing we did here. So let's say this is the first time you use the printer and QImage comes up and it says this. You hold your mouse over this and there's a whole bunch of things there. Two, two changes and one hint. The changes are it fixed the color management mode to go along with that printer profile that's above my mouse cursor. And it turned off prevention of print data loss to ensure full resolution. But there is a hint that's still there that says increase quality in the driver to higher above. So when I click this to open the driver, I'll see that the quality says uh, standard here. And I'll just click on highest and click OK. And really now with dry, driver AI watching your back and, and you know helping you out here, you really only have to go into the driver and check things like the quality and borderless. And that's it. That's the only time you ever have to open the driver. Um, here's another example. If I click on borderless, the check mark goes gray. And the reason it goes gray is because it just wants to tell you, look at the two bullets there at the bottom. It says disable borderless unless it's absolutely necessary. That avoids ink overspray in your printer. And the second bullet says borderless expansion will cause the driver to scale and large prints. So it's going to enlarge your prints the way you have it set. If you want to fix that, just click and uncheck borderless and click OK. And now everything's good to go. So the driver AI features are features that will work on almost all Canon and Epson printers. HP doesn't allow that level of control inside their drivers. They really want you to go into the driver and do everything from inside the driver. So QImage is not allowed to make changes like it does with Canon and Epson. But if you have a Canon or Epson printer, really now you're basically just looking for the blue check mark and really the only time you ever need to go into the driver is to check and confirm your print quality and that's it if you change to another i got the pro 300 here you change to another uh paper type here let's say we go to luster um we see that the it already fixed the color management mode but now the hint that it's giving us and the hint is the real reason that this check is gray now because the change has already been done. It already fixed the color management mode. So it's not going to make this check gray because of that, because it already changed and fixed that. This is gray because of the hint. And the hint says increase quality in the driver to higher. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, quality high. Boom, I'm done. That's all I have to do. And everything's ready to go. So hopefully you'll enjoy these new driver AI features and I think it'll really help out and especially with some of those obscure settings that are kind of hidden in the drivers, uh, things that you wouldn't know about that could affect quality 
or sizing, things like that, should really help out and should ensure that you're always getting the optimal quality prints and you're always getting, you know, what you see is what you get on the live view here. So enjoy the new features and thanks for watching.